awesome! The open sea! Nothing like it! Don't know what's so awesome about scurvy, rainstorms, and no decent plumbing. I owe you my life, though, dude. It's a good thing you have those powers of yours, or you never would have survived. Actually, I don't think it was my powers. My friend Shakes always said I had a hard head. About as thick as those glasses you're wearing. <laughs> I'll ignore that. Better be on your guard, Luffy. Mm -hmm. We're heading to a marine base where they're holding a very dangerous man. The bloodthirsty pirate hunter, Zoro Ruranoa. Alright! We're here! I don't know, Luffy. I've heard rumors that he once killed a guy by reaching into his ear and pulling his brain out through his nose. If he's got rumors floating around, he must be famous. Maybe I can get his autograph. Yeah! I'm sure he takes a pen everywhere he goes! What's he gonna write with? Blood? No way! That'd be ridiculous! Hey, Kobe, we're friends, right? Mmm. Here, a little something for your trouble. Sir, this is a piece of chocolate. Hey, you know where I can find this Zoro guy? We should keep quiet about that. I think these guys fear copyright. Regardless, we should see if we can find him at the base. Besides, didn't you want to be a Marine? Oh uh, yeah, but right now I'm too much of a coward to do that. From what I've heard, this place is a great A boot camp style base run by Captain Morgan. Whoa! Wow, that was weird. Captain Morgan! Oh. <laughs> this town is funny. <laughs> I don't know, Luffy. This might just be my minor character senses tingling, but I think the marine base is holding tyranny over the town. Either that, or everyone here suffers a disease where they get muscle spasms from hearing the name Morgan. The second one sounds serious. It was a joke, you retard! Nice base. What do those symbols mean? I guess this is where we part ways, Luffy. Do you want to have one last hug? Sorry, I'm allergic to pink huh? hair. Now, where's this swordsman? I know this is a marine base, but I don't think they make a habit of holding prisoners here. Zoro's probably inside. Well, there he is. Wow, he looks cool even when tied up. The series gets dumber by the second. Huh? <laughs> Kobe, you're not a hemophilia, are you? We're not having you write his name in my blood! Hey, you too. You were nice, Sue. Piss off. <laughs> Luffy, doesn't he freak you out in the slightest? I guess he would if he weren't tied up like a punk. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> Shh! <laughs> <laughs> Luffy, stop! And I'm the stupid one. What about I'm tied up? Don't you understand? Hello, Mr. Zoro. What you doing? Kid, what do you want? I came to help. Look, I brought rice balls. I made them all by myself. I'm not hungry. But that's okay. They're my mother's special explosion recipe. You put them near your crust and boom! You're free. Wouldn't the ensuing explosion kill me? Uh, uh, uh... Besides, you can't make explosion rice balls. What are those made with? Rice. Oh, and prune extract, red pepper, and wheat. I think we're thinking of two totally different types of explosions. Really? Mom said it worked for my dad. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Girl Scouts offering rice balls? Hey! <laughs> Ew! These are the worst balls I've ever tasted! Wait, I remember you. These are your mother's explosion rice balls, aren't they? Um, no. Take that! Hey, stop your stop rice that. balls in the dirt! What do you think you're doing to them? That, no. that poor girl! Those poor rice balls. I worked so hard to make Too them. bad you didn't read the memo. All citizens to assist a fugitive will be sentenced to immediate death. Uh, sir? I don't think she can read that. It's in Japanese. What the f***? you say to me? Listen, soldier, you like your job here, right? Yes, sir. You like feeding your family, right?
right? Yes, sir. So you'll do anything you can to keep your job here, right? Yes, sir. You wake up every morning looking forward to when you can hope to have permission to bend over backwards and kiss my ass, right? Yes, sir. Good. Then throw this thing out. I'm really sorry about this. Do a barrel roll. Uh, huh? That's mine! <laughs> Thanks a lot. Whoa! That guy can play baseball! Are you alright? Monster. <laughs> Me? A monster? Who's the one tied up? You're gonna have enough of abusing your power. Yeah, sure. Come on, boys. Let's go back and play human chess again. What a jerk, huh? You better pray you're a sign of heat stroke. How can I be a sign of heat stroke when I'm not made of wood? What? You know, you got this rep, but you don't seem very strong. If I were on Tide, I'd show you just how strong I really am. And it's because of that strength that I'll survive. <laughs> lol, what? Wait! You gonna eat that? This? The rice balls that were stomped off covered in a chewy gravel coating? I was about to, but... Nah, not worth the explosion. Those weren't made for eating. Regardless, he gobbled them right up. Then he got this weird look in his face. Well, at least I could help. Why in the world were you making rice bowls for him anyway? Well, I had to do something. He protected me and the entire town. But see, that doesn't explain why you picked rice balls. It all started a couple of weeks ago. It was a pretty hot day because the sun was way too close to the earth. And even more unfortunate for the town was how Mufflo's decision to walk his wolf leash list that day. Wow, what a I thought so too. I tried hitting it with the broom, but to our surprise, that just made things worse. Yeah, after all, brooms are their number one weakness. That sounds serious. Ugh, Luffy. Luckily, Zoro was there to stop the wolf from disemboweling me. But when I confronted Mufflo, he ran into trouble. I'm a fool threatened to do a horrible thing if Mr. Zoro didn't surrender. Well, what was it? It's almost too horrible to repeat. He, he threatened to bring back the four kids' dub. Listen up! For me all the food and drinks you've got, I've got an announcement to make. So my birthday's coming up in six months and I'm going to be hosting a vision party tomorrow. Everyone's going to be there. To make it extra super special, it's going to be the day when Zoro's executed. <laughs> it's going to be so sparkle. There's going to be lights and fireworks and cotton candy. Oh, and maybe I'll hire one of those executioners that'll use something fancy like a chainsaw. <laughs> oh! Get up so I can hit you again! Oh, hey, Cry, no regrets! I'm telling on you! Why don't you be a man? It's not hard! Loopy, calm down! If you keep this up, I'll come sure to come and eat us! Kobe! Huh? Today, Zoro will become a main character! This is some good stuff. Yes, sir. Only the best, sir. That the citizens paid the monthly green tax. Sir, the citizens don't believe that that's a substantial cause for their gold. I mean, we're poor enough as it is. Daddy! Some kid beat me up! Time to quit it! <laughs>